This November, I am voting for change. Because this train won't stop running. No matter how dry our reserves, the tracks are wet by nature. So the question is not, will we change? But what kind of change do we want? I want the kind of change that makes your coins worth something. Because money is change. It's a means to an end. A symbol that's silent when hit, but thunderous when spent for change. I'm talking about the kind of change that brings the best and the worst out of people. They call it extreme. I call it change that makes saints leaders and awakens racists, turning them into vigilantes or policemen. You know, the kind of change that reclaims resources for indigenous peoples and prompts pompous presidents to stage coup d'etats in countries they can hardly identify on a map. In fact, the kind of change I'm voting for will redraw maps, rebuild landscapes, tear down skyscrapers and replace them with barrios because the kind of change I want will rewrite dictionaries. So ghetto, means develop. But my people, we don't need to write lists anymore. We don't need to check off names in voting booths anymore. All we need is boots, words, courage, and community. Because in my experience, presidents only change what we force them to experience. So whoever takes the stage to bask as corporate appointed leader of 51% of this country better take note that the game is changing and we are learning from experience and we know that every time this nation has had a dream it has ended buried under grassroots with the sound of bullet shots still ringing in the ears of a generation that was hungry for something different but who only got a taste and though I taste that fear again the air is moist with possibility because we are bigger, smarter more patient, less centralized, more positive, less dependent, more connected, less national, more local, more hopeful. And we are more than ready to fulfill our destiny as the next president of the future United States of the living world. Word. All right, man. Woo!